Hello today's video we have the following content. Six years later, looking at Tang Yan and Luo Jin again, I found out, this is what love really looks like. As one of the four young actresses in the early days, is Tang Yan now too embarrassed to face people because of being mocked? When Yang Mi, Liu Shishi, and Xiao Liang, the three actresses, have many endorsements to support them even if they are not very good, Tang Yan has not released any new works for two years. It was not easy to get an endorsement, but it turned out to be a brand with a very bad reputation. Fans were all devastated and asked in disbelief, Tang Yan. What's wrong with you? Some particularly radical career fans couldn't stand the idol's passive slacking appearance, so they threw her workload data of less than a week in the past two years into the studio's comment area, and also posted a post to criticize the studio for being irresponsible. It seems to be the studio's problem, but in fact the fans are taking advantage of the issue and making indirect accusations. Tang Ya may have seen the fans' feeling of disappointment. As soon as she announced her comeback, a group of fans were so excited that they rubbed their hands warm, brought small stools, and waited obediently for her sister's work. However, the comeback is true, but the works are fictitious. Because Tang Yan is going to participate in variety shows, not to release new dramas or movies. Although Arun is an old IP, fans are not happy about it, thinking that it is easy to ruin her personality and consume her popularity. Tang Yan who has been gradually marginalized in the entertainment industry, actually wants to push herself to the end. What is she thinking? This time, let's talk about Tang Yan. 01. The unacceptable reason why she can't be a flight attendant. Tang Yan was born in Shanghai, and her parents are officials. It can be said that she is a real rich girl. As a white, rich and beautiful woman, Tang Yan's initial ideal is particularly suitable for her sweet appearance, which is to be a flight attendant. So. Since childhood, in order for their daughter to achieve her ideal, her parents have been thinking about giving her nutrition to make her grow taller. Thanks to the support and training of her parents, Tang Yan's height reached 1.72 meters when she was adolescent. At school, Tang Yan is a goddess recognized by her classmates. Everyone thought that Tang Yan could realize her dream of becoming a flight attendant, so after graduation, she confidently applied for the flight attendant major. However, the bad thing was that Tang Yan passed the cultural course, but was eliminated because of a small scar next to her eye. Tang Yan missed her dream because of a small stain that was not very noticeable. She was hit hard and mocked herself in the house, not eating or drinking, and cried for many days. She was the only daughter in the family, and her parents were worried when they saw their child sad. They thought of many ways to make their daughter happy, but in the end, nothing worked. Until Tang's father saw an advertisement for a local beauty pageant, he thought that his beautiful daughter might like it, so he persuaded her to try, maybe you can be a model, which is as glorious as being a flight attendant. Since she failed to become a flight attendant, Tang Yan was confused. Fortunately, her father gave her a suggestion, which made Tang Yan figure it out all of a sudden. So, the 18-year-old Tang Yan signed up for the competition with the idea of giving it a try. As a result, it was just like this saying, when God closes a door for you, he will open a window for you. With her eye-catching appearance, Tang Yan beat all her opponents and won the championship very easily. At this time, her friends told Tang Yan not to rely on the modeling that was a youthful job, but to learn acting, which would be both glamorous and profitable. Tang Yan thought it made sense, and her parents didn't object, as long as she was happy. So, Tang Yan applied for the famous Central Academy of Drama in China. But this time, God didn't let her down. 02. High starting point, awkward ending. In 2002, Tang Yan successfully passed the entrance examination to the Central Academy of Drama. In her sophomore year, Tang Yan was selected by Zhang Yimou and became one of the actors in the Chinese eight minutes at the closing ceremony of the Athens Olympics. After graduation, Tang Yan was signed by Chanshan Entertainment and became colleagues with powerful actors such as Chen Daomin and Hubing. It has not even been a year since she joined the company, but Tang Yan has already starred in her first movie and officially debuted in the entertainment industry. The company is particularly optimistic about Tang Yan, who has been certified as a national teacher, and asked her to develop in the Hong Kong entertainment industry, which has more experience in star making. At that time, Tang Yan, who had just entered the industry, worked with first-line big-name predecessors such as Wu Zhenayu and Aaron Kwok. In addition, she was born as a Mu girl and had a good company to support her. She was lucky enough not to worry about not becoming popular. 
However, the actual situation is that Tang Yan has not made much progress in the Hong Kong circle. After two years, she has used up all the fame she accumulated through the Olympics, and had no choice but to return to the mainland entertainment industry. It is true that the mainland is more tolerant, and Tang Yan changed her agent as soon as she came back. The agent with a sharp vision got Tang Yan a lot of good scripts. Among them, Tang Yan became popular all over the country with the work Chinese Palladium 3. Many fans and audiences got to know Tang Yan through this drama. The Zixuan she played can be both a cold and aloof queen and a cute and lovely girl. In this drama, Tang Yan perfectly demonstrated the high degree of plasticity of an actor to the role. Later, Tang Yan's well-known representative works such as the three daughters of the Xia family, the invulnerable masters like Clouds, and Love Wakes Up appeared one after another. She played silly and sweet in them, and was especially favored by the domineering CEO-type male protagonist. At the beginning, the audience could still try to see something new, but the company arranged too many similar roles for Tang Yan, which made the audience tired of Tang Yan. Although Tang Yan tried to make changes, the drama ex-female agent gave the audience a new understanding of her. But unfortunately Tang Yan was pitted by this drama. She was obviously playing a high IQ and cold female agent, but because of the poor appearance and plot, she was also unbearable to watch. There was no way, Tang Yan had to play the kind of Mary Sue script arranged by the company for her again. Because she is good at playing silly and sweet, Tang Yan's fame is only more and more every time she shoots a drama, no matter how good the quality is, and she has steadily earned the topic. The company's calculations are very clever, but no one has seen the price Tang Yan paid for this. When Tang Yan's Diamond Lover was broadcast, she played silly and sweet again, and the audience couldn't stand it. The key is that in this drama, it can be seen that Tang Yan's acting skills are getting worse and worse. Whether she is happy, angry, sad or happy, there is no emotional change in her. The female lead's mentally retarded personality was finally surpassed by the funny goddess Gao when played by the second female lead Iliba. Tang Yan was complained about for nothing, and she made the actors under her best friend Yang Mi famous by herself. Without the popularity of passers-by, Tang Yan and Yang Mi, the once good girlfriends, also broke up. Some people say that they will never contact each other again, not because of Reba, but because of the IP of silent separation. One played in the TV series version, and the other played in the movie version. If there is a competition for resources and comparison of interests, no matter how deep the friendship is, it will break. Everyone has different opinions. It doesn't matter who is right or wrong. Anyway, when they are on the same stage again, they dare not even meet each other's eyes. Even if they can reconcile, they can't go back to the way they were before. From best friends to full-fledged rivals, Tang Yan may not be afraid of being compared, but she is at a disadvantage. Can Tang Yan accept this embarrassment? 03, two years of silence, is it because she is ashamed to see people or is there another reason? Comma in 2020, Tang Yan's new play in Ayande was broadcast. The audience who were originally full of expectations felt that they could see her show the domineering power of the heroine Empress Zio in Tang Yan's new play. Besides, this is Tang Yan's first work as a heroine after getting rid of the image of Mary Sue and Silly White Sweet. Even if you are not her fan, you will definitely be curious whether she has made progress. As a result, the higher the expectations, the greater the disappointment. The drama played by Tang Yan is completely old wine in a new bottle. Her acting skills and style have not changed much. No matter what she does, her expressions are almost the same. The embarrassing thing is that Tang Yan, who is 37 years old, has to play the role of a 16-year-old girl. The gap between her actual age and the role she plays is too big, and the audience can't get into it at all. How can this be the legendary and domineering Empress Zio in history? She is simply a silly and innocent person who knows nothing and has no brains. It's okay that the new drama performs badly. You know, this is not the first time for Tang Yan, but I didn't expect that she would have the problem of unprofessionalism. According to the time, Tang Yan was already five months pregnant when filming Yin Ayante. Faced with a large number of scenes, she had to deal with it by cutting out pictures. No wonder the audience felt that everything was not good when watching this drama, and simply gave it an unprecedented low score of 4.4 in the domestic dramas with female protagonists. Some people said that if Tang Yan was pregnant, she should take good care of the baby, or be responsible to the audience and work hard on the filming. She was said to be the second Angela baby, and the drama was regarded as the Lonely Queen 2.0 inches. Doesn't Tang Yan feel ashamed? In such a bad situation, Tang Yan decided to hide. 
This hiding lasted for two years. Except for Flower Blossom, she had no dramas to be broadcast and did not go to film. Because she was not in business, she was almost out of touch with the entertainment industry, not to mention any luxury endorsements. Even if there were endorsements, they were all unknown brands. Even the invitations from micro-businesses, Tang Yan accepted them all. After Tang Yan endorsed Swarovski, Fun's dissatisfaction with her reached a peak. They often bombarded the studio's comment area and private messages, asking Tang Yan to join the crew to film. From beginning to end, Tang Yan did not show up to comfort and guide the fans, and she looked completely indifferent. Although Yang Mi also starred in a lot of not-so-good movies during the same period, she at least didn't hide for two years. She's filming movies and appearing on variety shows, and she has a lot of luxury endorsements. She's almost 40 years old, and she's trying hard to market her girlishness. Even if she's scolded, she can still make a lot of traffic. If Tang Yang can have some of Yang Mi's intelligence and ambition, her fans will be very happy. However, Tang Yan looks like this, and she doesn't have any ambition at all, let alone ambition. She also said that she values her family more than her career, which is the main reason why Tang Yan has been silent for two years. Moreover, after Yan Yun Tai, Tang Yan is about to give birth, and it takes some time to recover, so it's normal for her to reduce her work. Some people say, how can you disappear for so long just to give birth to a baby? This is obviously an excuse. But in fact, Tang Yan does value her family, which is related to the happy family environment she was in when she was a child. 04. Family is above everything, no regrets for any choice. As the only daughter in the family, Tang Yan's parents dote on her very much. As long as the request is not too much, they basically give her whatever she wants. When Tang Yan first had the dream of becoming a flight attendant, you can know how much her parents value this precious daughter. After Tang Yan became famous, no matter how busy her parents were, as long as their daughter came back from Shanghai by plane, they would go to the airport in person to pick her up. In order to communicate well with his daughter, Tang's father specially learned a lot of internet buzzwords. In such a happy family, Tang Yan has basically never been wronged. She is particularly grateful to her parents for raising her so well. In Tang Yan's view, family relationships are a very critical part of a child's growth. So since marrying Luo Jin, Tang Yan has focused on her family and is willing to be the woman behind her husband. Tang Yan said, I hope to capture every moment of my daughter's growth. Of course, Tang Yan has retired from the entertainment industry for more than two years, and she has sufficient conditions to do so. First, she had accumulated a lot of money through filming and endorsements in the early years, and second, she married a good husband like Luo Jin. When Tang Yan was at home taking care of her husband and children, Luo Jin was working outside. In two years, Luo Jin actually filmed nine dramas, which is really a model worker in the entertainment industry. No matter how hard and tired he is, Luo Jin thinks it is worth it. Just because of these four words, he likes Tang Yan. This reminds people of Tang Yan being asked why she married Luo Jin, and she replied, He always puts me first and can give me a full sense of security. After Tang Yan finished speaking, the audience was surprised. Friends who are familiar with Luo Jin know that he is not very good at speaking and does not seem to be very good at taking care of people. However, after marrying Tang Yan, everyone realized that he gave his most enthusiastic side to his wife. If you ask Luo Jin what expression Tang Yan makes the cutest, he will say without thinking, I can't say it, because my wife's cuteness is natural. Apart from anything else, Luo Jin shows his love for Tang Yan more through actions. The couple attended the award ceremony hand in hand. Luo Jin saw that his wife's shoelaces were loose, and he squatted down to help tie the shoelaces without caring about his image. He was obviously very busy, but he would take time out to pick up his wife who was idle at home after get off work. Tang Yan saw all of Luo Jin's efforts, which is why she trusted him so much and felt that he could give her a good life. Even if her husband had no movies to shoot, Tang Yan was not worried at all. How could her life be bad? This couple is not only actors, but also investors. And in 2013, Tang Yan established her own studio and signed many young artists under it. As a boss, Tang Yan can earn wealth that many people can't even imagine. So, during those days when she was idle at home, a bag that Tang Yan casually carried could buy a house in the capital. Without the halo of a star, Tang Yan is just an ordinary person. Who said that filming must be all she lives for? If you are a true fan, you should respect the choice of your idol, after all, only the person concerned can think more carefully. Now, 
Participating in variety shows has become another unexpected decision for Tang Yan, but your thoughts have nothing to do with her. Anyway, life is controlled by the individual, as long as you don't feel regretful, you can live a happy and fulfilling life. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,